this particular cleaning station was thriving with a whole group of juveniles. This nice big potato bear is almost watching over them. A really formidable predator on the reefs, preying mostly on smaller fish. They'll eat a fish of about three to four kilos without a problem. So quite a ferocious predator. And then below them I found this really nice big bull ray who was being attended by a couple of these cleaning shrimps. They're also known as round ribbon tail rays and it's the same species as the blue spotted round ribbon tail ray. The two main species of cleaning shrimps that you get here is the one is the Durban dancing shrimp, the one on the left and the skunk shrimp, the one on the right with the bands down his back. They're the main guys that seem to get involved a lot quicker and a lot earlier than the other guys. The other guys always seem to be a bit nervous. It was just really nice to be back on the, the coral reefs here in Sedwana Bay. The colour, the life, the corals, everything just makes it so surreal. And the cherry on top for me on this dive was a nice find, a nice little paper fish. The black and white guy there. Incredible how they can change their markings from location to location. Bikini Reef has this really beautiful north facing ledge and in this ledge there are a lot of sort of caves, grottos, cutaways which provide the perfect sanctuary for a lot of the smaller reef dwelling fish. And it's not only the fish life that's so prolific here, there's a lot of coral on this reef as well. So it is really a scuba diver's dream. Has the black cheek moray keeping very still, obviously, perhaps uh, hunting, looking for something to come a little closer. As I drifted down the ledges, I uh, came across a couple of different anemones, uh, all being colonized by a pair of anemone fish or the clownfish. fish. Very small animals and uh, what they do is they'll lay their eggs in these anemones and obviously the tentacles of the anemone is very poisonous to other animals so it's a real safe haven for, for them and for the young ones. And this is a pair that's colonized a soft sponge. These tentacles are a lot longer um, and it's just better for the, the actual fish itself. It, obviously the protection is far greater. As I drifted down the reef, I bumped into a really strange fish. And this particular fish is one of the puffers and it's called the map puffer fish. And you can quite clearly see the, the interesting um, characteristic markings. And 
Just below that guy was a very interesting starfish. This is the pincushion starfish. And this is one of the big turbinate corals uh, on the reef. Also, again, in pristine condition and possibly a few hundred years old. This is a really dynamic little area because it's constantly wet and has the sea drawing back and parts of it almost dry out during low tide. But the trick is that the sea foam and the waves and the moisture is never far away. Lots of algae and seaweed growth, some soft corals, and these shallow pools are warmed by the sun fairly efficiently. And low tide sees a little bit of pressure on some creatures like the urchins. Water draining out of these rock pools as the tide heads out. And at low tide, there's a lot to be seen in these little pools. You really have to look closely though, and these little dramas play out in quite a secret way. Urchins scurrying for deeper areas, they're lucky enough to be quite mobile. The longer these pools stay calm for, the warmer they get, not being flushed by the cool seawater. And this warm water is obviously really good for photosynthesis and these plants begin to give off quite a substantial amount of air bubbles and oxygen, which in turn aerates these stagnant pools during the low tide areas. I found a particularly interesting little gully. And you can see huge teams of blennies. Little fish quite reminiscent of the mudskippers and some of these are actually rock skippers. Very similarly adapted little fish living on the bottom and quite aggressive and quite mobile. And this little drama began to play out in this restricted rock pool where all these little fish had been stuck by the low tide. These are maned blennies. And here's the kingpin, quite a big specimen, chasing off all wannabe leaders. He's much bigger than all the others. A little bit of a bully, I guess. But a rippled rock skipper comes in and throws a spanner in the works. A different species coming in, barging out the bigger maned blenny and pretty much making this little bit of turf its own funny little horns on top of this individual's head. And he's obviously a slightly more aggressive species for his size. So a real battle between two species in this confined space at low tide this morning on the rocks. <laughs> 